Jake Gyllenhaal is basically the most hated man in the world, following Taylor Swift's release of All Too Well, the 10 minute version. Leading up to this current scandal, there were tons of warning signs that Jake was bad news, even from other celebrities. Starting off we got Taylor Swift. Jake Gyllenhaal has come back into the spotlight purely because of Taylor Swift's recent 10 minute release of her hit song All Too Well. The first version was 5 minutes, before the re-release of the album Red, she included the original length of the song, which was 10 minutes. In the song Taylor is agonizing over a past relationship and singing about her heartbreak. From the easter eggs she's given us, her fanbase has widely regarded this relationship was with actor Jake Gyllenhaal. Swift, now 31, dated Gyllenhaal, now 40, for 3 months in late 2010. She then channeled her emotions to make the hit album Red in 2012. Taylor also released a short film along with a 10 minute version of the song, and cast Dylan O'Brien, who is 30, and Sadie Sink, who is 19, in the All Too Well short film, which happens to be a very similar age difference to her and Jake Gyllenhaal during their relationship. Taylor calls out Jake in the line quote, And I was never good at telling jokes, but the punchline goes, I'll get older, but your lovers stay my age. This line especially hits hard since Jake is currently dating a woman 16 years younger than him. In the song, she says that apparently Jake Gyllenhaal claimed that they might still be together if they were closer in age. Even though most people are on Taylor's side, many are criticizing how harshly that she's painting Jake, as it was only a 3 month relationship. But it's widely believed that Jake Gyllenhaal was her first real boyfriend, so clearly very pivotal to her life. In the song, Swift references an unnamed actress who caught her quote weeping in a party bathroom and asked what happened. Fans have speculated the actress was Jennifer Aniston at the People's Choice Awards, but of course nothing's been confirmed. Another line of the song paints a picture of Jake not showing up to Taylor's 21st birthday party. The line goes, quote, You who charmed my dad with self-effacing jokes, sipping coffee like you're on a late night show, but then he watched me watch the front door all night, willing you to come, and he said, It's supposed to be fun turning 21. In response to the new version of the song and all the negative media attention that he's getting, Jake Gyllenhaal is apparently mortified. A source claimed, quote, Jake is mortified that Taylor is targeting him in all too well. He's such a private person and goes out of his way to avoid drama, so having their three month fling dragged up in this song and hearing people gossip about it is a hard pill for him to swallow. Next up, David Fincher. David Fincher and Jake Gyllenhaal worked together on 2007's Zodiac. But following the film's release, it's clear the pair had a lot of tension while filming. In one interview, Gyllenhaal hinted that he didn't have a good relationship with the director. Apparently a big issue is that Fincher likes to get tons of takes from his actors so that he can be sure he's gotten the best one. Gyllenhaal doesn't like this method and believes it goes too far. Years later in a new interview with the New York Times, Fincher cleared the air on the drama. Fincher says that at the time, Gyllenhaal was a hot new actor and had a lot of attention from the media. Because of this he was very distracted and it was hard for him to work with someone that demanded perfection. Fincher added that Gyllenhaal would go to various film festivals over the weekend, and when he would show up to set on Monday, he would be scatterbrained. Next up, Ryan Reynolds. Ryan Reynolds and Jake Gyllenhaal became besties after they worked together on the 2017 sci-fi horror film, Life. After the movie, the pair would attend events together and talk about one another in the press. It was very clear that they spent a lot of time together. Then all of a sudden the pair had a falling out and no longer talk. One source claims the falling out was due to competition. Apparently tension started once the pair realized that they were competing for similar roles. Currently it seems that Reynolds is the one winning in the acting game, as he is the face of huge movies like Free Guy and Red Notice. While well, Gyllenhaal has not done anything notable in years. His last role of that caliber was in Spider-Man Far From Home in 2019. The source added, quote, All their friends chalk up their falling out to show business. Ryan and Jake realize that in Hollywood, there are so many seats at the table. Years back when the pair were friends, Gyllenhaal told BBC's The One Show that he didn't feel threatened by Reynolds. Apparently he felt the dynamic between the two of them was perfect, and there was no competition or jealousy at that time. But now that Reynolds has become a much bigger star, people believe that Gyllenhaal's mind was the one that changed. And he started distancing from Reynolds because he was bitter. Jan Cadeau Now that Jake Gyllenhaal's relationships are being analyzed in the media, people are realizing that Taylor's line in the All Too Well song is pretty accurate, and Jake Gyllenhaal has a tendency to date younger women. Jake Gyllenhaal's current relationship is with French model Jean Cadeau, who is 25 years old. But what makes things fishy is the fact that they have been dating since 2018, so Cadeau would have been about 22 years old when they first started dating. The pair are very private, and they only went public in May of this year. They walked the red carpet at the New York Film Festival in September. They were accompanied by Jake's sister Maggie and her husband Peter Skarsgård. 
Jan Cadeau is 25 years old, giving her and Jake a 15 year age gap as he is 40. In Taylor's song All Too Well, she added the line, quote, I'll get older, but your lovers stay my age. Which many think is pretty timely considering the age gap in his current relationship. And even though Gyllenhaal has been in a number of long term relationships over the years, he admitted in one interview that he's only been in love twice. That got the internet scrambling to see who those women could be. Most speculate those women to be Reese Witherspoon and Kirsten Dunst. And finally, himself. Jake Gyllenhaal completely exposed himself when he revealed that he doesn't make bathing a priority. He told Vanity Fair back in August, quote, More and more I find bathing to be less necessary at times. I do also think that there's a whole world of not bathing that is also really helpful for skin maintenance, and we naturally clean ourselves. Although he wants everyone to know he is not dirty and that he brushes his teeth often. He said, quote, I do believe because Elvis Costello is wonderful that good manners and bad breath get you nowhere, so I do brush my teeth. These comments were made at a time when celebrities were coming forward, sharing that they do not bathe daily. The conversation first started when Mila Kunis and Ashton Kutcher revealed that they don't bathe their kids daily, only when they see dirt on them. But after the comments went viral, Gyllenhaal somewhat regretted them and clarified his comments to BuzzFeed. Apparently he was being sarcastic when he gave that last answer. He said, quote, I don't know what it was. I answered a question where I was being sarcastic and ironic, and it's followed me around. Continuing to joke about the subject, he added, quote, Unfortunately, I showered before I came here, so I'm sorry. So that is all for the list. Let me know your thoughts below and let me know anything that I missed that could be in a part two. I find he was very difficult to find information for. I think it's true when they say he's pretty private. He clearly is, even his scandals are quite private. But before I go, I'm gonna shout out some comments from celebrities who caught their spouses cheating part three. Movie Man said, Wow, you look so beautiful as a brunette, Mackenzie. I love it. Thank you so much. It's a big, big change. Even looking in the monitor, I'm like, who is that? And Kathy Pierce said, love the hair, both look great, but brown isn't as damaging. That is definitely true. Actually, the reason I decided to go brown and even get my hair done was because I was feeling my hair like last week and the whole bottom part was like straw. So I was like, I need to get this addressed. MLG Gamer said, you know, I actually saw an interview recently with Monica Lewinsky and she was talking about her experience, but also how it affected her and how she's been like an advocate against bullying and that kind of thing. I respect her for that because I don't like bullying either as someone who went through it. Completely agreed. The amount of hate she got when she wasn't the problem it was really Bill Clinton. That was the problem. He was the president. He had the wife. She, you know, she had yeah, she shouldn't have got the flack for it. And I'm actually watching FX's impeachment and that is so eye-opening to see how she went through that scandal. It would have been so, so different today. Then Prep For It said, interesting list of fools. If you are not happy with the marriage, get a divorce before you see other people. Also, does anyone think it's odd or even funny that the first photo was Chloe and Lamar promoting their own brand of perfume cologne to celebrate their faithfulness? Unbreakable love, unbreakable bond, unbreakable joy. I've always disliked the Kardashians, but I do feel sad and sorry for Chloe being cheated on. That really hurt. Yeah, that is kind of funny that they, it's really just crazy because they made themselves seem like the most perfect relationship and they really did. It's like, it didn't even look fake on TV. I was like, oh my God, they're so in love. They're so great. And then you find this out later and you're like, how was that happening the whole time? It is so crazy. I still cannot get over it. All right, guys, that's all for the video today. Thanks so much for sticking around if you made all the way here. If you liked the video and you want to see more, make sure to like and sub to the channel below. I've been your host, Mackenzie Smith. Make sure to check us out on social media and I'll catch y'all in the next one. Oh, <laughs>